I mean, a lot of people at least express a sentiment where they say, what are borders? The reason we have country boundaries is because we value liberty. We value personal freedom. We value the individual over the group. This is something else that really bothers me. People were talking about this recently. I think I heard, I think I heard Joe Rogan echo this sentiment, and, and, and I don't want to say it was only him, but he was talk, quoting somebody else who had made this statement. And a lot of people at least express a sentiment where they say, what are borders? I just heard someone talking about this right, the other yeah. day again on CNN. That's what prompted it. It's right. just this arbitrary what? Because someone laid out a line, or created no. a line that this divides us, and we're supposed to believe that that's a real thing. No, you know what borders are? And it really bothers me when people try and be so reductive. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with being reductive. It's a valid point. But in this case, it is false. No, you know what a border represents, folks? Just like we're talking about foreign language films and that offends people versus international. The reason that borders exist is because they are a physical manifestation of shared, or even more importantly, now in 2020, 20 unshared values. It's not that yeah. someone just decided to lay a line down. It's, for example, the United States border. We're saying, hold on a second. The reason we have a border, the reason we have country boundaries is because we value liberty. We value personal freedom. We value the individual over the group. We value the right to protect yourself. We value that women are created equal, that all people are created equal, that women are not subservient, that they can drive cars, that they don't have to hide their face. We value free enterprise, not giving everything to the government. We value that all human, we value that we don't have slavery as opposed to many countries where there is indentured servitude. It is important for people to realize that borders are a physical manifestation of unshared values. And you know what's also important? That's also why the legal immigration thing is a big deal. The only reason, the only reason, the sole reason that we have an immigration system by which you can migrate here legally, by which you can move into this country legally, is to ensure that you share the same values. That's why there's a citizenship oath. When people yeah. act as though these folks just want to come into this country, well, hold on a second. Look at the values in many of these South American countries. Do they share the American values? Do they believe in the power of the individual? Do they believe in freedom of speech? Do they believe that people should have the right to protect their home and property? Right. What do they do yeah. in rooting out corruption in office? And I know some people right now are going to say, well, what about Donald Trump? Okay, look at, look at Venezuela, folks. Why would we want to bring in people who might bring in values from a whole South American country where they don't value any of the tenets of, the, right. uh, of, of uh, the principles of this country. Borders exist as a physical manifestation of values that we share and values that we don't share. And the reason we have a system so that we can check and make sure people are coming through is to ensure that only the people who share our values and want to take part in the American experiment and, by the way, uh, also learn the language, become a part of the American culture, and appreciate American culture are coming to this country. How we've lost sight of that now, where everyone is entitled to go, to move into any country that they want to because right. we are all citizens of the world is asinine, it's stupid, it's the kind of rhetoric that leads to obviously silly, meaningless decisions like switching foreign film to international, but you know what? I'm a big fan of borders. I'm a big fan of borders and I'm a big fan of, of knowing who's coming into the country legally because I don't have a problem with putting on team jerseys when you have citizens of the world who believe that women need four witnesses for a rape, who believe that you don't right. have the yeah. right to speak yeah. out against the government. You know what? I'm glad that we have a dividing line, and I'd like there to be a f***ing wall. How about that? Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, click one of these other videos playing in a box uh, up there and hit subscribe or the notification bell if you're already subscribed so you can find out about our new uh, non-controversial videos, which don't ruffle any feathers and, of course, are not a violation of YouTube's algorithms. <laughs> Everyone's welcome here, <laughs> except I don't know if we are, but it's our channel. Uh, I'm not sure how that works.